Hey yo, this is Dash, and today I'm going to be making a seafood, or not seafood, a shrimp alfredo. So, go on. This is, yeah, but this is actually really, really good. This is probably top three. Top right. three for sure. Okay. I, I like this. The shrimp is good. All right. Oh, the, the pasta. The pasta is good. Okay. Right. Sorry, if I thought I said that. No, he didn't. But the pasta is really good. It's cheesy and everything. It is very cheesy. I like cheese. I like Get ready. All right. So, I'm trying to make this. Taste test number three hit me up today while she was at school. And she says, Daddy, can we have Alfredo for dinner? Uh, sure. Why not? So, uh, oh, that small caveat, I don't have any Parmesan cheese. We have this huge bag of uh, queso, uh, or I guess quesadilla queso. And I'm like, we're gonna use that just because I don't wanna buy anything else. Majority of the recipes that I've seen to make for making Alfredo call for a white wine, heavy cream, shallots, some garlic. I have all of those things. I just didn't have any Parmesan cheese. I have all of my ingredients. I told you I'm gonna be using shrimp, so I have some shrimp. I peeled them, I seasoned them. I'm using uh, quesadilla, queso, just because I didn't wanna buy any Parmesan cheese. Heavy cream, garlic. I have shallots cut up. Shallots cut up, I've cut them up already so that I could speed up this cook process and have some white wine. Funny enough, <clears throat> when I was in the store, I picked up this, uh, Bogle, or I guess Bo uh, yeah, Bogle wine, and I thought it was cheaper than it was, and I told the guy, I said, oh, I thought that was supposed to be like five or six dollars, whatever, and the guy's like, no, not this one, it ended up being 11 or 12, and he said, this. I said, well, I'll just need some cheap wine for cooking, he's like, oh, no, that's not for cooking, he said, that's actually pretty good, so we're gonna see, I'm gonna sip on some wine. And there's a guy on Instagram, he's like, you got to hide. As I'm cooking, I'm not a wine person, so we'll see if I actually like this. I did try them earlier. I do like this one more than I like this one, so that, we're cooking with this one. Usually, I don't cook with alcohol. I feel like that's alcohol abuse. <clears throat> anyway, I'm gonna get my pasta on. I'm gonna get my shrimp started, and we'll get the Alfredo sauce working. <clears throat> first things first, I'm gonna use my big 15 inch skillet to cook my Alfredo, or excuse me, cook my shrimp in. So I'm gonna pull that out. Kind of do some rearranging here. On the stove. All right, <clears throat> get my out for my pasta. Here it is. This pan sits under on the bottom of the oven more often than not, so I'm going to rinse it out real quick. So I'm just gonna <clears throat> get the heat on the pot, excuse me, the skillet, so we can get some heat in there. Then I'll get some olive oil down in here and we'll get the shrimp in. All right, so we have the skillet on. I'm gonna add some olive oil to the skillet. I 
Actually, I'm going to slow this down because I want my oil, <clears throat> the water, to come up to temperature first before the shrimp because the shrimp won't take long at all. Actually, I can kind of slow this down. I'm going to spread the shrimp out evenly. And I'm using this big pan today so that I can make sure that we're cooking in one layer, make it easy on myself. All right, <clears throat> so while my shrimp is cooking, I am going to take a, I'll say a sip. I'm gonna drink some of this wine, just, just because. My, of course, my hand is wet. There we go. Should I have gotten a wine glass? Probably. But I'm not fancy. All right. So the shrimp is looking pretty good, as you can see. And this wine, I mean, it is a Chardonnay, a 2023 vintage. Give me moonshine. I like that more. I'm not gonna worry about the shrimp being done completely because once we get our Alfredo sauce together and we get our shrimp put back in with the pasta, the shrimp will cook further. So if the shrimp is a little underdone, it'll probably be okay because it's gonna be some carryover heat and cooking from when it gets into the Alfredo. I'm actually going to turn the heat down a little bit, like a medium, <clears throat> medium low. I don't think I may mention, but I seasoned the shrimp today with Uncle Steve's smoke bomb and Uncle Steve's Cajun or Texas Cajun seasoning. And it smells pretty darn amazing right now in my kitchen, just from the shrimp and the seasonings. I seasoned it maybe about an hour, two hours ago. And then I had to go pick up taste lesson number three from school. So this will officially be like one of the first times I've kind of marinated something in some of Uncle Steve's seasoning. Or Uncle Steve shake just because I usually season right as I'm cooking. Mm. 
All right, we'll give those another minute or so, and then we'll get them pulled out. There's a guy on Instagram, he's like, you got to hydrate. <laughs> exactly. <clears throat> Butter. That's what I'm missing. Not make any more dishes than I have to. Clean this out. Dry it. And let's get the shrimp in there. Shrimp off to the side. Gonna get some butter. I'm gonna put two tablespoons of butter in here. shallots in there let those cook down Turn my heat back up to medium. Get ready to get this. I tried to open these up or have these open to make it easier for myself, but I pushed the corks in, I guess, a little too far. And I wasn't able to get them out. All right. I'm gonna put a heaping tablespoon, heaping teaspoon, let's do a teaspoon of garlic. We don't mind the garlic. So I'm gonna do a heaping teaspoon of garlic. And I'm gonna keep that moving so it doesn't burn. And then Get the pasta in the water. Add some salt to the water. And then 
drop the box of pasta in there. We'll get that down in a second. Let's move this around. Look at that. No, I was gonna say no stickage, but virtually no stickage. But let's get a little bit of a glug glug of wine in here. I just want to cover the bottom of the pan. Gonna deglaze the bottom of the pan, and you see how good this pan is. My non-stick coating is on this pan, and nothing stuck. I like it. Let's get this pasta down in the water. Set a timer for five minutes and I'll check on that pasta again. Let this reduce a little bit. How's your day going? Yeah, hey, really. You know, in the middle of the video, at some point, I'm going to turn around to the camera and ask you guys how you're doing. I do actually care. So leave a comment down below and tell me how you're doing. Like, seriously, I'm checking in with you. As you can see, <clears throat> my... We are reducing here. This isn't too hot, so let's move this up a little bit. But my pan is deglazed. Nothing stuck to the bottom of the pan. I think out of all of my cast iron cook cookware, I'm proudest of this, <laughs> this one. It's the one that gets used least, and the non-stick coating on this one is Fantastic. <clears throat> if you guys could smell what I smell in this kitchen right now and don't tell anyone. <laughs> mm. I would say they need a little salt, but I'm not going to add the salt because I think the salt from the pasta water, I didn't add any salt to the onions or, or the garlic, but maybe some salt from the cheese help balance things out but overall not bad so our sauce our, our wine sauce is reduced and I see a lot of people say like the few videos recipes I saw add two cups of heavy cream There was about two cups left in this container. 
All I really want to do is warm the cream up and then I'm going to turn the heat off and melt in my cheese. Let's get this all incorporated. So I was looking for some, um, some chili powder. And I wasn't able to find it. But at this point, we're gonna add in cheese. Now, you'll never see me grab, reach into the bag. The oils and stuff from your hand will make this cheese um, mold faster. So let's put in two heaping. Now you should be using Parmesan cheese, let me preface that. But I didn't get Parmesan cheese because I had this whole big bag of cheese and I didn't want to buy more cheese. So I'm gonna put three big handfuls of cheese in here. And we're gonna see what that does should be about two cups, but I have more pasta or more shrimp than a lot of people I saw. They use usually about a pound of shrimp. I have two pounds of shrimp. You know, when I do different things when it comes to cooking, I don't always, and when I say don't always, I pretty much never follow the recipe. I kind of just cook with the ingredients I have on hand, and that is okay. If you have something that'll work for what it is you're trying to do, then let that be your guide, and let that be the thing that you cook with. Let me check my pasta while that cheese is melting. I still have some bite and I still have room for more cheese. I want this sauce to be thick. Very cheesy. I'm gonna get the pasta out of the water, but I'm gonna put some of this pasta water off to the side first before I drain it. Just in case I need any pasta water. Was a straggler in the pot. All right. So my cheese sauce is cheesy, and I think it needs some salt. I'm gonna add some pepper as well. Let's 
nice mixy mixy. Nice and cheesy. Mixed in the pasta. I'm putting some pasta off to the side for my wife. In case she wants to do something with it different. She was talking about doing something a little different with some of the pasta. So put some of that off to the side for her. I'm gonna fold. Actually, I'll use the cheese. Cheese with cheese in. All folded in. What do you guys think? <clears throat> I've never made Alfredo from scratch. And technically I still haven't made it because I didn't do it correctly. But what do you guys think? Taste test on number two. Yeah. Come here for a second. Okay. <clears throat> oh, snap. Yeah, it looks fine. Oh, oh my. <laughs> Thank you. Really? I didn't mean to yet. Really? Here, we'll just we'll just hold it. I'll just hold it. Okay, we're back. Welcome, guys. Well, hello, yeah. guys. Hi. Oh, Welcome. this looks good. Yeah. Did the shrimp peel? Yes, the shrimp is peeled. I, I read me. I peel the shrimp always. Mommy doesn't. Hot. <laughs> oh, hold on. There you go. Now, thanks. What do you think? It's very good. Very well seasoned. I feel like what a does lot. It tastes of... like yeah. Oh, let me try again. <laughs> this is what I deal with.
Really? That's, good. That's what we're doing? All right, well, put some more on the plate and take it with you. I'm trying to figure out what it's seasoned with. I can't. Yeah, so this is a this is a newer newer seasoning. So it's that Texas Cajun seasoning, and then that smoke bomb just to add a little bit of smoke flavor to it. It's then there good. was shallots, garlic, and um, I used this quesadilla cheese, quesadilla cheese versus Parmesan cheese. Mommy looked at me funny when I told her I didn't have Parmesan cheese, but it worked. And it's very cheesy. If I had to rank this oh boy. all time, all time things this, cooked oh my on this channel, this is actually <laughs> in the playlist trying new things with my kids. kids. This is probably number two. This is really, really What high. was number one? Number one was the oysters. Oh, all right. Oh, just, I thought you were going to lay oh, claim to the eel video. Like, ooh, oh, that one. Okay. Oh, <laughs> okay, you forget okay. about the videos. I yeah, don't forget okay, about the videos. Okay, okay so oh, we have okay. a new number one. Oh, what was the number one? The eel video. The eel video was number one. Go watch who was that. In the, who, it, it'll be it, it, this one. up there. This one. Great video. I manned <laughs> and, you know, directed that video okay. and cooked. Okay. He did cook. He did cook. We shared cooking responsibilities. Yes. And then, dang, we got some good ones. We do have. The spicy stuff. I forgot the spicy, all about the spicy stuff. The spicy ones were good. We still... Well, not good. But like, the good we, recording, yeah. You and I, hot ones. I'll do it. I know. I'll I have. I, I ordered the hot one sauces. And someone is a social butterfly and is never home. Anyway, so go on. This is, yeah, but this is actually really, really good. This is probably top three. Top right. three for sure. Okay. I, I like this a lot. Perfect. All right, well. Thank you, sister. She asked for Alfredo. Speaking of, go tell her to come in here so she can get her plate. Wow. Wow. <laughs> you can, you can put more on this. Hmm. <clears throat> All right. Well, seeing as how this is here, I'm going to try it myself. I just tried the sauce. Come on. So the, I don't say the bad thing, but the one thing about all of the cheese, it is making the pasta stick together. <laughs> Oh, this is also oh cheesy. All right, oh, so cheesy. Hello. You want to pick the plate up and then I can put this on a plate? Right here, right here. This one right here. All right. Here, I'll put one shrimp. Oh, right, we'll just shrimp in there. I was going to say I'll put one on top. You want to take it? Okay. The cheese has the pasta sticking together. It is very cheesy. <laughs> I guess I will translate and interpret. I'm trying to. All right. <laughs> Give me a minute. Give you a minute. All right. I'm going to put some more wine in my cup here. Taste the shrimp. This 
jumping them. All right. Oh, the the pasta. The pasta. Is good. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I thought I said that. No, he didn't. But the pasta is really good. It's cheesy. And it's very cheesy. I like cheese. I like cheese too. Um, I- um, the shrimp, it's good and crunchy. All right. Oh, crunchy. Mm-hmm. Like it's not super chewy. Okay. All right. So it's sh- sure crunchy. All right. Well, you want? I'm gonna say you can take that. Do you want some more shrimp? Are you good? Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, Goodbye now. <clears throat> well, there you have it. This was a one take. <laughs> it didn't take very long for me to do this. You could do it too. This probably took less than I don't. I don't. I can't see camera's too far away to see how long this this clip is but excuse me start to finish probably in under 30 minutes uh making dinner i'm gonna say from scratch but an alfredo from scratch i'll drink to that uh what are you back here oh he's making a plate now go ahead make a plate and then you want to tell them bye oh yeah sure sure. oh i can i can run it back you? Oh yeah, sure. Okay, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, thank you so very much as always for watching. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. Don't forget to hit up those videos and links for, that are up in the left corner there and down in the description. Anyway, thanks again as always for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye guys. All right. I, I knew. I knew it. I knew it. All right. Thanks. Oh, bottom, baby. <laughs>